windows, and I tell you, I should not be the suppressed here. At least my hands would bring warm flesh to your ravenous lips, to your cold shoulder, to your forever empty stomach. Don't pretend you're not starving. At least for me, you wouldn't have to do backbends for your jealousy and beg everyone to believe you are upside down all along. Because following me is honesty. You could stop chewing toothpick cigarettes and a lighter real one and take its smoke in. That is, if you would stop being afraid your insides would catch fire. The point is, you're not a straw man, and you shouldn't act like one. You will not fall apart literally for the things you love, hopefully. Looking in mirrors is difficult for me, as I undergo metamorphosis at every turn of the eye, every brush of your foot against another. But however my appearance may change, my core stays steadily the same. The inside of me is not inner skin, but a spiral staircase leading to wherever your feeble steps may take you, and wherever is usually down. Yes, at my core I am a furnace, with my kneading fire reaching into the basement. While this may seem a torture chamber, pliers and guns and lies lining the cold brick walls, were you to look closer or open your own chest, you would find much more. While I hiss and sputter, time stands still. Small civil wars are fought in my rooms. And you stand with your hand nearly touching my brazen hands, my fluctuating hips, with your lips pursed to keep any trueness you have left locked between the mouth and head, your brows together to keep your thoughts from spilling out, your eyes closed to convince yourself that you are stealthy. But I see you, and I am not one to hide. So dance with me. You wrap your cold fingers around the furnace door's bars, and I can't help but reach through and wrap my hand around yours, our fingers overlapping. Let me warm you. Since you find the heat pleasurable, you release me from my prison cell, and in all my joy I rage to amazing heights, and here the question must be asked, can you match me, or will I consume you, Scarecrow? For those lucky few whose straw does not catch at the first spark, we dance, we waltz, we spin and dip. I know this style and you don't, so let me lead, Lamb Eyes. I am never surprised you don't know the moves. So by the time our rhythm is superseded by you, will your fingertips brush my lips for our thrilling final kiss? Or will they spit me into a drowned, camp drowned campfire, weak and whimpering? Take me where you may, but if we kiss, know that it might burn when I slide onto your greedy tongue and find my final resting place deep inside you. But this is a dark, damp place, so if you let me in, you must warm me now, as I did for you. And whether you arrest me again, or take me home, or run back up my curling stairs to the sub-zero world outside, know this. Whether you arise with an unblemished waist and, waist and the same smooth face, or find yourself burned to ash in my deepest chambers, unrecollected, know that when we danced, you grinned. This was when you laughed with me. And I'm sorry. A fire may not know the burns it leaves. Just remember when you wrap your wounds and the lonely fire is curled in the curvatures of your ribs, I am nestled deep in your bones now. And however close fear may be, we are never far apart. Ooh.